define system profile options in inventory module. So there are a number of very important system profile options that you must define in order to complete intercompany transactions, specifically the internal requisition and internal sales order related transactions. So the first one that you've got to consider is INV intercompany currency conversion. So this determines the conversion type for foreign currency invoices. If you recall a little while ago I have gone into the currency conversion form there I have chosen a currency conversion type as corporate. There you've got different types like daily or spot and so on. So it depends on your company policy which conversion type they wish to choose and accordingly you've got to specify in this profile option and for that type only you've got to define your currency conversion rates. The second profile option is INV intercompany invoice for internal orders. This profile options allows you to create intercompany invoices for internal orders of type in transit shipments and you set this profile option at the site level. So when you make internal orders between one operating unit and another operating unit you define something called as shipping networks and within shipping networks you define something called as in transit shipments how the shipment is going to go and whether it's going to stop in transit or not so the entire shipment network you define in that inventory form and this profile option is specifically made for your internal orders then you've got INV advanced pricing for intercompany invoice this profile options enables you to use advanced pricing for intercompany invoice for example if the base price for an item is 150 and for ordering an item from an external source you would like to add some sort of a markup or a premium on top of the base price because of the transport and other logistic costs involved in bringing that item to your warehouse so you can simply define a sort of a modifier in your advanced pricing that as soon as this specific item got selected from a specific price list for a specific customer then you add a premium mark of 20% and this modifier must be valid for that to be automatically applied to a sales order line so modifiers gets applied automatically or manually based on its modifiers definition to a sales order or sales order lines so unless this profile option is enabled you can't use advanced pricing in intercompany invoicing lastly mo operating unit is a profile option that you set to the appropriate operating unit for each responsibility so basically it tells oracle application systems that a specific responsibility belongs to this particular operating unit now let's go into oracle applications and one by one let's have a look at these system profile options so first one is INV intercompany currency conversion so I'm going to go into Oracle applications here and then I will switch the responsibility to system administrator hit the OK button and then go to profile and system and look for INV then type enter and then percentage hit the find button and then look for the profile option INV intercompany currency conversion hit the OK and then find button and as you could see it is set up at the site level and at the moment it is set up as corporate type currency exchange rate type so here you can select from the list of predefined values which 
currency exchange rate type you wish to attach in this profile option it could be spot it could be user or it could be daily you see so let us leave it as it is and now let's go to the second profile option which is INB intercompany invoice for internal orders so let's search for that Look, this is the one INV intercompany invoice for internal orders. Hit the OK button, then find button. And then whether you wish to allow that or not, so there are only two options yes or no. So by default, it is yes at the moment. Okay. Then the next profile option is INV advanced pricing for intercompany invoice. And let's look for that again. So that's the one and hit the find button and again it is yes or no option presently it is not set so if you wish you can set it as yes and hit the save button okay and lastly MO operating unit this is something that you set for every responsibility in Oracle applications In fact, this system profile option is not specifically related to intercompany invoicing, but you got to have that for you to transact with the right responsibility under which the right operating unit is attached. All right. So here you can choose the different operating unit as such. You can also choose a specific responsibility here. I believe you can give it at the responsibility level as well. So for example, vision operations or let's do this, let's clear this. So let's say vision services and MO So as you could see, you can attach a operating unit at the responsibility level as well, which is what I wanted to show you. Okay. So these are important system profile options related to intercompany transactions and specifically for some are for internal orders, but there are more. They are not end to it. I would suggest you go and do exactly the same as I have done it in system profile options and look for other profile options and explore that in Oracle's standard documentation.